What's up, everybody? I'm the Nerf Modding Nerd, and this is Nerf News. So, starting off, we have a new product from Worker. This is a new Percy's Hopper, which is very similar to many of the 3D printed Percy's Hoppers. And this one is 3D printed as well, based off of the name F10555, as that's their 3D printing branch. This is going to hold 250 rounds, which I believe is the same as the Out of Darts Percy's Hopper. The one I've printed holds about 190, so a little bit less, but it's on Thingiverse and it's free. I don't believe they have a price up yet, but I'm guessing it's going to retail for between 15 to $20, but we'll see that on the store probably very soon. One key difference to note here, it has a hopper lid, just like the regular Percy's hopper, uh, unlike the 3D printed ones, which mostly utilize a paintball holder thing, and this one's very boxy, so, I mean... It's interesting, it's not really my style, I personally like the 3D printed ones that like you can get on Thingiverse or Out of Darts better, but hey, some people might like this. Next up we have another product from Worker, this is the Worker Hurricane Flywheel Dual Stage Setup. So this is just two sets of flywheels that's going to go in the front of the Worker Hurricane. These are going to come in both 31.5mm and 35mm, and we don't have a price as these aren't on the store yet, but they're probably going to retail for like $15-$20. to $20. Next up we have the new Talon or Thanlon Drum, this is going to be a 24 dart drum. It's the same shape as a regular Nerf drum, but it doesn't have all the useless plastic in the middle, and this is actually symmetrical on both sides, so it's designed for both left-handed and right-handed shooters with the exact same magazine. This means that if you ha hold your blaster a specific way, you can flip it around, so like the 35 round drum was really only intended for right-handed shooters, because if you're a left-handed shooter, it gets in the way of putting your hand on the front of the blaster, so this is great because it's going to be able to go either way and make it comfortable for both left and right-handed shooters. This is going to require a drum spring in addition to the 3D printed parts, such as the foam blast drum spring that they sell, but other than that, it is entirely 3D printed. And the files for this are all on Thingiverse, so I'll leave a link to that in the iCards right now if you want to go download those and print. Next up, we have the new Nerf Ultra 95, so this is going to be very similar to the Nerf 1995 crossbow with the exact same design other than the wacky crossbow arms, and it's going to be firing Nerf Ultra darts. So this is just a concept design right here, but I believe it's going to be coming out in the fall and retailing for 40 United States dollars. So I think this thing is really cool. I'm not usually all for the Ultra series, but due to the fact that this shell is really, really cool, I'm really excited to see it on shelves again and, you know, available to get from less than $300 on eBay. And this will let modders, like, cut them up and stuff without feeling bad for it being a really rare blaster. Unfortunately, with that, that is going to be the end of this Nerf news. If you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe for weekly Nerf news, mods, reviews, and more. I'm the Nerf Modern Nerd, and I'll see you next time. April Fool's. So yeah, I kind of feel bad, but uh, you know, Wednesday came on April 1st this year, so I felt like I had to do something. Last year it was on a Monday, so this year it's on a Wednesday, and Nerf News is on a Wednesday, so yeah, here we are. Unfortunately, this isn't actually coming out. This was just some art that uh, Lord Drac posted on a video, and I thought it was pretty cool, and I was like, hey, you know, this might make a good April Fool's joke. So yeah, it's not actually coming out. I'm sorry about that. I really, really, really wish it was. And yeah, this won't happen till next time April Fool's is on a Wednesday. So see you guys next week.